everybody, LadyB5 here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be doing this easy 1.16 starter house tutorial. And this is a really cool little fantasy house to get you started in your world, but it's in its survival friendly. You, but you do have to go into the Nether. And yeah, and you also will have to find flower forests and stuff. So, anyways. It does have a fully interior, this is a survival interior, it's not like it's going to have things that, are own, that aren't useful at all, like we have some furnaces, a crafting table, that's just a purely aesthetic room, I couldn't find a place to, any, or that's the place I put that little scene area. We have this storage area on the second floor, the third floor is just a little bedroom, and the last floor is your enchanting area. And you could always expand upwards into the roof. But I decided not to do that. So let's get right into the build tutorial by getting the layout. So after you get down, you want to make this L shape. It is basically a 7x7 seven seven square, but and then take out the bottom corner, but place one in the middle. That's how you're gonna do it inside this one chunk area. Then you wanna bring this up one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring those across and then do it on this little corner all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring it across, bring that, bring that across, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. And then you wanna bring this one up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then bring it across. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. And then bring it across. And then do that on these sides. Go up five, make it six tall, bring it across, and then you want to bring this one up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <coughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. When I bring out fourteen, you want to extend that one up to the same height, and this one in all four corners on there, you want to extend up to this height. So then with that you want to go look at it make sure proportions are correct it looks like a little part for staircase but way too big like jump up jump up like that and they all these little cute they kind of look like cubes you can put them like that and then on these two sections the two shorter sections you're gonna put some diorite at the bottom so if you I'll grab the diorite and you wanna place this on the bottom, like that, just like little bits. But you might wanna put, make sure you leave maybe, maybe you could leave a hole in it on some of them, like this. Cause this is gonna be something, if you don't know, it's called a gradient. It's how it's gonna, it's gonna go from diorite up to white concrete through the two levels that it's on. So then once you got all that in, and you have all this in, you want to fill this area with stone bricks. And this area can go all the way up to the top with stone bricks. These two sides completely filled with stone bricks. Just all the way up. And this is going to be one part thing, so I know some people do <clears throat> um, two part ones like exterior, interior. This one's just going to be one because it probably won't take very long. Then you have that. And then you want to get some white concrete powder, white stained glass paint, light gray stained glass paint, and white concrete. Then you want to place some concrete powder like this just like placed and then two blocks up 
from where you started in the middle at the front of the house, you're going to place a white stained glass pane and a light gray stained glass pane. And then you just want to like mix it up. Make sure you might want to add one piece of dye right a bit higher, but then you want to keep it mostly at the top, like concrete powder or white concrete. And then once you have this, you just want to mix it up like that. And then at the top, you can add a little bit of white concrete. Like that. So that's a nice gradient from like the darker area to the hot, lighter area. And one block below that top area, you want to add, you want to poke out a hole and put white stained glass paint, light gray stained glass paint. Then you want to do the same on this side, but you want to poke out a hole here, add the diorite, and then you want to add an acacia door. If you can't find it, just use any other door. Just place a door down. I like the acacia door most, so I'm gonna be using acacia. So then, remember, just filling the rest of this with some white concrete. Then you wanna add a window above it right there. And then fill it with white stained glass pane. Doesn't matter if you don't wanna use this, you don't have to so to make it easier for you guys i'm just not going to use it then on this side again this side is going to be a fully just gradient there's going to be no windows because this is the kitchen area and some storage area so it probably wouldn't have many windows so this side kind of flat but that's okay and then on this side you want to do the exact same thing, window, like that, white, white stained glass panes, then some concrete on top. Then you want to add the concrete on top, add some like gray, white concrete powder, and make the window. Same on this side concrete powder, window, white stain, glass pane. Then you have the main walls for the structure done. Then you want to grab, you want to first clear, clear your inventory. You won't need many of these blocks later in the build. So you want to grab Polish blackstone bricks and po polish blackstone brick stairs and polish blackstone. And with the polish box bla blackstone brick stairs, you want to place one, two, three, four, five of them. Six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going out one. And this side, you want to place one, two, three, four, five. Then here, you want to place an upside down stair. And then you want to add one, two, one, two polished blacks and bricks, one, two polished blacks and stairs, and upside down, two upside down stairs, one, two, three, four polished blacks and brick stairs, black and brick stairs. Then you want to place just, it might be hard to do, an upside down one, then one more stair on top, and a final stair here. Then you want to do the same on the other side by just doing the same thing that I did before. Just doing one, two, three, four, five, five, upside down stair. One, two, three, four, five, six, upside down stair. Polish blocks and brick, polish blocks and brick. One, two, stair, stair upside down stair upside down stair one two three four uh stair stair upside down stair up stair upside down stair so now you got the, those two roofs then you want to grab some crimson planks 
crimson stairs, and crimson slabs. You want to fill this in where how you did it before with some crimson planks like that that match up with here. Crimson stairs, crimson planks, crimson planks. But instead of doing the stair and then a block with some stairs on it, you could do that or you could do a crimson slab, which is what I'm going to do. Just put some crimson slabs there. Then you go on your way to the bottom again, by placing some just low stairs all the way up. But then you have this empty part in the middle, so you want to place spruce wood planks with a window in it. Just like this. You could have a one, a big window, or you could have two tall. Well, I'm gonna have it two tall. Then you want to add some upside down stairs, right side down, ups, and right side upstairs to show that this is a, li a old building, like this. It gives it a bit more character and depth. So, so first punch a few holes. Maybe you can use a crimson slab instead of a stair here or there. Place some stairs. It'd be kind of weird if one side had them, one side didn't, so make sure all sides have them. And you might want to add little holes poking through into the house, but if you don't, just don't use it on the edge. And then, you want to do the same thing on this side. You want to do crimson planks, crimson planks. This one might be a bit harder though. Crimson stairs, crimson stairs, planks, planks, slab, crimson planks, crimson planks, crimson planks, crimson stairs, and then one more final row of crimson then you just want to add a little bit more depth by doing a little stair trick like this. Uh, maybe a slab. Then upside uh, down there. And a stair. We're done with those parts of the roofs. And then you want to take the stone brick and where you can see the holes. You want to add stone bricks. So then, you know, you want to clear your inventory once again. <laughs> Sorry for that. And but you want to keep the spruce planks because you're gonna make a little window right here. This one's it could be too tall. This one just to add some variation. It's gonna be one tall. And it's also going to use some white stained glass panes. And then you can see lots of it is already done like, without the details. And you want to build, you want to use some dark oak stairs and you want to add them to the corners of each part of this tower, like this. So you're going to need all those on each of the sides and then you want to use this strip dark oak lock go up one two three four five one two three four five you want to go across uh, here go across go across go across but leave space in the middle like that then go up five all sides you just want to place a row at the bottom a pillar and a row at the top pillar make sure you're adding the overhang not like that to make it look more like a tower and then on this spot you're gonna want to take out a little bit of the roof then place those just like normal that's really the only difference in any of these and then you want to fill this in 
You want to fill all those windows with <coughs> with white stained glass panes. One, two, three. 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 And there, you can see how it looks pretty similar. Then you want to get polished black and brick stairs, crimson planks, and some crimson stairs because now we're doing the roof on top of it. And then you want to just make this square like this all the way around it. This might be a bit hard if you're in survival, this roof, but if you're in creative or just really careful with your dirt scaffolding, it will probably be, turn out okay. And then, this is going to be like the same amount of sharpness at, when you're going up as we did with the other one. Then, you want to get some polished blackstone bricks and put them in the corners. And you can use stairs or slabs for it too. I just like using the, the full block. Then, in the middle, you want to get the middle, uh, this seven, and go up to, and then place a stair, upside down stair, up to, place a stair. And do that on all sides. One, two, stair, upside down, st upside down stair, up to, place a stair, up to, stair, over, upside down stair, one, two, for polished blocks and bricks, polished blocks and bricks stairs, one, two, stairs, upside down stair, one, two, up, polished blocks on stairs, then upside down stair, upside down stair, upside down stair, upside down stair, then you want to go up again, all of these go up two, and then place polished blocks and bricks stairs, this and place a block in the middle go up to and place a polish and place two polished blacks and brick walls on top then you just want to fill this in like this with leaving the corners out and then you want to go up two on it or up one place stairs and then this one is just in a little L shape Again, a little bit sharper each time as you go up and up to and leave it there or no you want to add this be forward or no that connecting to each of them so there just connect at the top to each of them and on all sides you want to bring this up how it there like that up All the way up. So one, two, place stairs, and looks good. Then, you of course, have to do the back side. And if you're wondering why I don't do cuts on here, it's because I like doing build tutorials. When I used to watch build tutorials and I wasn't a content creator, I used to just watch them and be like, oh, I always have to pause the video. Oh, to do this. Oh, that, that. That, okay, 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 do that, do that. And sometimes I was like really annoyed by that, so I like the ones where you actually build it with them. So there. <laughs> I might have gotten the proportions wrong and made this a bit taller than others, but I think that's okay. So then you might be like, oh, this one's so bright and this one's so dark. So that means that we need chains and lanterns so you want to place just make them at different heights you want to place chains and then a lantern like that might be a bit hard to place place one place a lantern and on all these corners place random amount of chains but make sure it doesn't go all the way to the ground like here you want to make sure that you can at least walk under it. 
like that. And then you want to add a chimney. So get some bricks, bricks, any type of trap door. I prefer acacia trap door and a soul campfire or any, really any campfire. Then you want to build this up like that. And if you want, you can use just a little brick stair instead to give it a bit more detail, but I'm not right now. And here, you don't have, you can't, it doesn't go through, so just break that block. It's not really that noticeable, or instead, you can just change this out and make this go a little bit farther forwards. Is that, That's what I'm going to do now. Just, and I would prefer... You'd probably want it to be a bit more windy as this is a fantasy style house. So it makes sense that it has like this big little big oh my goodness, big little why am I saying big little? I don't know, but just this little chimney. But it is a little wobbly. And then you have all the lights. Then you want to do the details. So take out all of those. And then get some alliums or any flower really, <clears throat> some spruce trap doors and a grass block. Place grass blocks all outside of this. Oh, grass blocks. Grass block. Grass block. Grass block. Except those top ones. Those top ones don't need it. And these ones don't. So then you want to place alliums on all of them. Going around. Place all of them alliums. Then, you're going to place spruce trap doors on the sides. And, don't forget below. This might be a bit hard to do, but you can always just do a block under or go to the side. It will make it easier. So, on all the sides. And you might not want to have one here, because this is where the door is going to be, and, I don't, and you wouldn't want that blocking the door. So, on that one, don't put any flower pot and then go to the side then over here go on the bottom place then go around and place these trap doors on this one <clears throat> then you're done with that clear those Clear this from your inventory, and then you want to get some spruce leaves and spruce wood. Wood or logs doesn't really matter, I just prefer the wood. And then you want to build these little trees coming up on the side of the house to make it have more of a fantasy vibe as trees are growing out of it. Just makes it a bit more fantasy. Weird, but and then you want to add little branches if you're not good at custom trees just do it like this add little branches onto it like that and you want to place leaves all over it these don't have to be perfect looking as they're just little de decorations for the exterior but make sure you don't make it straight just make it a bit curvy and add branches and then want to add two more coming out on the side over here and this one you can't go out a lot so don't make branches like that like maybe just like that and one here then place spruce leaves around it like that the spruce leaves can go onto here because i made this a 14 by 14 area inside so it's just one chunk so then you have your second tree, and then your third tree will go on the back, and it's going to start here. On the second one, you want to go out one, up, and then add some branches, like this. Then, just cover it in leaves. Like this. Might want to add two on top, might want to add one. It'll look good either way. 
right in there. Might be kind of hard behind the chain, but there. The exterior is done. It looks completely safe and kind of weird. Now, the interior. I, used, I, I don't like doing interiors, but survival friendly interiors are okay for me. But there is one last thing for the exterior that is some spruce wood stairs and grass path blocks. I'm gonna place a stair here, a stair there. This one might be a bit hard, but a stair there. And then you wanna replace some of the area with some grass paths. Like this. And then you have your little path <coughs> on to a road. Well, not really, but their exterior is done. Now, the dreaded interior. So, for this, you wanna place the entire bottom layer as spruce wood planks. Like this. Then, you want to, this two by three area in the corner of the house, it's gonna be a black and white checkerboard pattern for the kitchen. You wanna get three white concrete and three black concrete and place them in a checkerboard pattern. Then get three furnaces, a crafting table, and a, and a spruce stair. on the top right here then you want to do carpet here but first you want to make the lower chairs a spruce wood stair there some spruce stairs there and then you want to make you want to get some light light blue light blue and white carpets and put them in a checkerboard pattern, like this. There, so you have your little seating area, and then this area is gonna be where the stair, the little spiral staircases. And in this area, you're gonna use spruce slabs and go and start right here go up make that a block make that a block like this it'll go all the way up to the second floor so then here you want to take that one out i know you want to keep that one in you want to take this one out and you're gonna want to add three bookshelves yep exactly three bookshelves right here then you just want to finish the staircase do it in survival do it like this and it's gonna and it's gonna stop here and this is where we're gonna have our storage area and then here you want to add spruce stairs up here but this area you're not gonna go into so we're just gonna wall that off with some spruce slabs and then I'm gonna finish up the staircase using the rest of your spruce slabs going all the way up and the floor should start here you know yeah the floor should start down here instead of just what I said you want to do it like here or you could do it yeah actually instead of what I just said Sorry if I'm making big mistakes here. Do it as normal. Or no, don't do it as normal. Just have the floor here. Or, why do I keep messing up? This goes one higher. The floor is going to be kind of 
awkward, but it will start here. Yep. So then you have here, place a block, so you can actually get here. And then this is where the floor is gonna be. And if this is a bit hard to reach for you, just, um, well, just gotta jump to it, because those will have to be a floor block, because this is gonna be a storage area, and it gives some extra storage that you can reach from any, from any of those two floors. So you're gonna put stairs here, or blocks here, like that, and then make sure you can go down the staircase. It doesn't have, it can be kind of cramped, but don't make it like super cramped so you can't even walk through it. Then, once you're here, you wanna add spruce trap doors, like this. And then you also want to add some little chests. And you wanna make this into a nice looking storage room. This is pretty easy to do. Just some trap doors, some chests, like this. And these can have item frames on them. You can also use barrels if you have some extra space. Walking over here, maybe I want some barrels over here. Some chests, some trap doors, like that. And then I want some on this side this and if you want this always could be lower but if you would just like to see it out through there it's fine and then chests like this stacked up maybe a bookshelf too then you want to keep going up up to this area. It's so right above here. You want to place some more slabberoos like this. Not like that. And then you want to do the same thing as you did before. Place some stairs like that. And then place some little slabs there. Then, because this area only has one room, we're going to make it the bedroom. And you can make this any color you want. So I'm gonna do light blue, and you want the the bed of your choice and the carpet of your choice. Make a light blue bed. Put a little shelf, and then fill this with the carpet. And then on top, if you want, if you finish the ender dragon, or put a prize possession like a dragon egg. And then just wanna add up a bit more and then this is a clever way to do then here you don't want to see this so you're gonna block this off with some little spruce stairs here too I know this is a little cramp for a house but it, you can make do with it just pop here and go up to the next floor. And then the final floor will be an enchantment area. So once you use your stairs to get up here, wanna get up. And I use this clever trick where go up, the spiral staircase is part of the enchanting area. So you wanna place uh, a spruce one there and you want to get your enchantment set up so you want to get an enchanting table and a bookshelf and don't worry if this was dark you want to place a, a spruce slab there instead of here and you want to add a, a lantern so just go outside add just a little lantern in there. Like right here. Or, yeah, 
right here. Like that. So it's light, lit up a bit better. Then, once you come to the final floor, you find out that you haven't done a part of it. Sorry about that. I'm just going to quickly do this. Really sorry about this. So then you just wanna just gonna finish this up. Then uh, for the roof, you want to use some spruce slabs and just cover it up but if you want to you can use that top attic space so just place it all down if you're doing this build and survival this will obviously take a bit obviously be bit take a bit longer but i hope that's okay for you guys then just place all your 15 bookshelves for level 30 enchants so that's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. And then you want to get an enchantment table. And you also and you place it so it's like this. And you have your little enchanting area. And then, sorry about that. And then you want to place a lantern. And then, and then you're going to be... Sorry for the noise in the background, but you're going to be doing this, and then you want to get a brewing stand, a smithing table, and as I said, if you want to, you can have a smithing table tucked in back here, then a brewing stand, and any sort of enchanty things, like an anvil that you might want. Like that. So, that is going to be it for my easy, my somewhat easy starter house tutorial, 1.16 starter house tutorial for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you are new and Turn those notification bells on if you want to see more tutorials and more stuff like this in the future. But anyways, this is where I'm signing off for today, everybody. Good.